Number 10. Prior to becoming the second president, John Adams was the vice president for George Washington. He was the first of 15 presidents to have previously served as vice president, and one of only four incumbent vice presidents to be elected directly to the presidency. Adams predicted the vice presidency to be the best stepping stone to the higher office. But, except in the case of the president's death, it's actually not that common. Number 9. John Adams fought against abolition and integration of freed slaves into the army. He believed it would hurt national unity in a time when the North and South needed each other to fight the British. Personally, however, he despised slavery. At no point did he own slaves, even to his own financial loss, and on many occasions he represented slaves in trials for their freedom. Number 8. Compared to other founders, Adams is lesser known. He predicted and resented this. Quote, the history of our revolution will be one continued lie. The essence of the whole will be that Dr. Franklin's electric rod smote the earth and outsprung George Washington, that Franklin electrified him with his rod, and henceforth these two conducted all the policy, negotiations, legislatures, and the war. Number 7. Following the infamous Boston Massacre, in which five civilians were killed by British troops, Adams represented the soldiers in court. He had no love for the British, but since no one else would defend them, he took on the task. Quote, Facts are stubborn things, and whatever may be our wishes, our inclinations, or the dictates of our passion, they cannot alter the state of facts and evidence. While considered respectable today, this actually hurt his reputation among Americans and earned him little financial compensation from his clients. Number 6. Adams favored grandiose titles for the president, such as Highness and Protector of Their Liberties. He argued it would command respect on the world stage, but to many, it just echoed the nobility systems of Europe. Much to Adams' displeasure, the Senate ultimately settled on the title, Mr. President. Number 5. When Adams died, he was 90 years old. This was exceptionally old by the standards of the day, considering Jefferson lived to 83 and Washington 67. Almost 200 years after Adams' death, and only five presidents have lived longer. It took until 2001 for 40th President Ronald Reagan to be the first to surpass Adams' record. Number 4. As the name would imply, John Adams was related to fellow founding father Samuel Adams. They were second cousins, though many simply referred to them as the Adams brothers. Samuel was actually the one who convinced John to represent the soldiers in the Boston Massacre. Though for Samuel it was less about justice and equitable trials, and more for propaganda to show that the rule of law prevailed in Boston. Number 3. Though highly intelligent, John Adams wasn't known for his people skills. He was bluntly honest, to the point that many considered him obnoxious, and he was disagreeable to a fault. Benjamin Rush, a fellow Federalist, described him as, quote, always honest, sometimes great, but often mad. Thomas Jefferson said he had integrity, but also said he was vain and irritable. Benjamin Franklin said, quote, he means well for his country, is always an honest man, often a wise one, but sometimes, and in some things, absolutely out of his senses. Number 2. In stark contrast to his predecessor, John Adams had no military experience. He is one of 14 presidents with this distinction. His contributions to the American Revolution were in diplomacy, drafting the founding documents, and uniting the 13 colonies. Number 1. John Adams lived to see his son, John Quincy Adams, become president. 24 years after the end of his own term. Quote, No man who ever held the office of president would congratulate a friend on obtaining it, he remarked, though in other writings it was evident he was immensely proud of his son's accomplishments and felt somewhat redeemed as his own presidency had only been a single term. Adams died on July 4, 1826, over one year into his son's presidency. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and donating on Patreon. Donations from 2 to $15 a month help towards more frequent uploads. Patreon link in the description below.